I'm here with Joey McClure at Clausen's. He also owns the restaurant Aqua that's right next to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, I'm just gonna ask him some questions again about uh, how they're preparing to open up amidst the coronavirus pandemic. So what are your thoughts on restaurants opening in general? Do you think that with the guidelines that are talking about being put in place, it will be safe for um, customers to come back in for seated dining? Right, yeah, I do. I think we're all really excited about being able to. Mm -hmm. It's been a uh, it's been a long spring. Yeah. Um, doesn't even seem like it's been spring, really. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we've uh, we got the guidelines, I mean, just really last night mm -hmm. that they have, but they seem to be, um, what we expected, mm -hmm. knowing what um, what everyone's been doing in other states and things that we've been looking at. Um, there's also a, um, a good platform that the North Carolina Restaurant Association has put mm -hmm. out. It's called Count On Me NC. And you can actually go on that and be certified. They give you a certificate. Um, I guess I'm going to do one of these. Oh, great. Could we show that? Uh -huh, sure. And um, so it just, it's just an effort to it gives you a course that you take. It takes about a half hour to go through and then test you. And um, when you get through, you get a certificate. So, so we're, all our managers are gonna take that as well as our kitchen managers. And uh, we'll post those out so folks know that we've taken it seriously. Uh -huh. so. so now that the guidelines have gone out and you've gotten your certificate, do you have an idea on when the restaurant might be back open for seated dining? Yeah. So we're hoping, um, it seems to be that the governor today at five will announce mm -hmm. that when the um, phase one ends at five o'clock on Friday, that we'll be able to reopen at that point. Oh. So that's our plan. We're working diligently mm -hmm. to um, certain things that we have to put in place um, to make sure that everybody's safe. Yeah. So obviously there will be changes made once you do open. Will it be open at a lower capacity, like as far as employees and customers? Right, yes. So, we have been told that it will be 50% capacity, mm -hmm. and that's what we we planned on. Um, we're looking at ways to block off booths and move tables and remove bar stools and do things that will um, that will abide by that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and as far as um, staff, we are probably going to have a limited staff um, because some folks aren't ready to come back mm -hmm. yet. Um, but we do have um, most of the main staff will be back. Um, and we will therefore probably have a little bit smaller menu than we normally would um, in order to accommodate some of those shortcomings uh -huh. that we have in that, in that regard. But we have a, a really good plan. Three of the managers and I met today um, for Clausen's um, with the guidelines and with what we planned as far as social distancing, um, sanitizing, disinfecting, um, in addition to what we've always done, uh -huh. um, disinfecting. And um, and what's the third thing? Sorry. That's right. Ah, yeah. So the other thing is, is we really um, we want to keep a close eye on our employees uh -huh. for their benefit, but, every, but for our guests as well. So we're planning on having a log that whenever they come to work, um, we'll have a few questions to ask them to make sure that they're that they're uh, healthy and safe. Sounds like you're doing a lot. That's great. Uh, so lastly, do you think that this pandemic will affect the way that restaurants operate permanently? Like, do you believe that these changes will be ones that could stick around for a while? Um, hopefully not all of them. Uh -huh. uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back to normal. But mm -hmm. I do think that some things will change. Um, I do think that, uh, interestingly, you know, prior to this, we didn't focus that much on um, takeout food. Uh -huh. And this has sort of forced us into a mode where um, that was all we had. So mm -hmm. we um, learned a lot about that and how to do online ordering. And, and we've got an online store on Facebook now that you can go on and order online. Um, and that's been very beneficial. And I, I see customers probably using that more mm -hmm. after this um, because they've gotten used to it. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of benefits, um, yeah. and especially um, mm -hmm. for health reasons and other reasons you may yeah. want to do that. Well, great. Thank you, Joey. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Karen Valentine with the Carteret News Times. Thank you.